Will we be actually seeing an M2 Ultra Mac Studio or will this be overthrown by the new Mac Pro? And also for the Mac Studio, will we be getting that brand new midnight color that we saw on the MacBook Air last year? Today, I want to start to go over everything we know so far for the next generation Mac Studio, including design changes, specs, and of course, the Mac Studio M2 Ultra release date and price. So let's begin where we are with the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio was the first brand new Mac category since the introduction of the MacBook Air. That's how long it's been. But it does replace the larger 27 inch iMac and the iMac Pro that we got back in 2017. This device is essentially a larger Mac Mini, but with more ports than a Mac Mini. And also of course, it is far bigger and far more powerful than the Mac Mini and even the larger iMac and gives us those incredible performance inside because of that M1 Max and M1 Ultra chipset choices we can pick. The M1 Max was first introduced inside the likes of the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros in 2021, but the brand new M1 Ultra was first introduced in 2022 with the Mac Studio and there's essentially two M1 Maxes stitched together to give us almost double the performance of the M1 Max. At the time of making this video, the M1 Ultra Ultra is the most powerful Apple chipset out there and it's exclusive to only the Mac Studio. But now, looking forward, the Mac Studio will be getting some brand new M2 variant chipsets in its next generation, including the M2 Max and of course the M2 Ultra. And there will also be a couple of other changes that I'll be discussing in these future videos about the Mac Studio. One of those changes looks like the Mac Studio second generation will actually be getting a new color added. So with the release of the brand new MacBook Air M2 that was finally announced at WWDC, we got that gorgeous brand new midnight color and it's definitely everyone's favorite choice for the MacBook Air. It is very possible that this time around the Mac Studio may also be offering that brand new midnight color and also the standard silver color that we have right now. And you can see this in the renders on this video. What also might happen is that the studio display that was also introduced at the same time as the Mac Studio may also be available in this midnight color. As for Apple just to change the dye of the meta color, it would be quite easy to achieve and there's no new redesign or any massive changes in the actual Mac Studio or even the studio display to do this. So it's quite simple for Apple to make such a simple change. So the new Mac Studio does look truly amazing. But just a quick note here, guys. With all of these leaks I'm showing you, and to be honest, they're quite early at this stage, a lot of leaks of previous Apple products have come true, but sometimes some haven't, and sometimes some get misinterpreted based on the facts that leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown, and no leak or rumor is 100% true until we see the final Mac Studio being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you are also watching this video, then you as curious as I'm in knowing what the next generation Mac Studio is going to be like, I want to know what the latest leaks and rumors are, no matter what they tell us. So next, let's do the release date of the Mac Studio. As the Mac Studio came out in 2022, and as we've learned with the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch models, at least 12 months needs to pass if we're going to get an upgrade. So this would mean at least 12 months from March 2002 when the Mac Studio came out before any upgrades. It's very likely at the moment that the Mac Studio at the earliest will see its upgrade to the M2 Max and the M2 Ultra in March time. However, we've been told that the M2 Ultra will come out for the first time on the Mac Pro as the first device to get this, and for the M2 Ultra to come out on the Mac Studio, we'll probably see this at WWDC 2023 in June, or at the latest at a press release, maybe in August time. We've had reports that the M3 journey will begin this fall or autumn if you're British like me, so it's likely that the Mac Studio will be updated before then. Of course, any details or reports of when the Mac Studio is definitely coming, I will be telling you in a video like this one. Wouldn't it be cool to automate all your IT needs anytime, anywhere in the world? And with that, you could become more efficient with your server and device management. Well, you can do that with Pulseway. Pulseway's advanced IT automation workflow technology gives you the power to auto-resolve IT issues automatically as they happen. 
You can shut down systems, kill processes, and automate patches to keep your network really safe. It couldn't be any more easier. In fact, Pulseway has already got 30 pre-written scripts ready for you to get you started and your systems. So make sure you get a free trial today. But moving on, let's do a summary of what the Mac Studio with the M2 Max and the M2 Ultra is expected to give us and the prices. So for the actual Mac Studio itself, the actual main design is probably going to stay the same. There isn't going to be many tweaks or changes. It is a great design and I'm sure the reason why it's so big, to be honest, and having those big fans inside is to compensate for many generations of the M variant chipset into the future. So I'm talking not just the M2, I'm talking M3, M4 and even M5 potentially inside the same design. So we don't think there's going to be many big changes there. But one thing that might change is going to be that new midnight color option that we saw on the MacBook Air on that M2 new chipset MacBook Air that came out, that brand new design one. We think that midnight color is going to be continuing on to many, many Macs and we do believe it's going to be coming to the Mac Studio as well. For storage options though, there's going to be the choice between 512 gigabytes all the way up to 8 terabytes and this is going to be an SSD option what you can pick from and configure when you pick your brand new Mac Studio with the M2 Max or the M2 Ultra. And talk about those chipsets, like I just said, there will be the choice between the M2 Max and the M2 Ultra. And this will either have, depending if you pick the Max or the Ultra, four to eight efficiency cores and between eight to 16 performance cores. But moving on to the GPU though, things are going up quite a bit here. This time round, you'll get the choice in including the binned version of the M2 Max between 32 cores all the way up to 38 cores with that chipset but then with the M2 Ultra you'll have the choice of 64 cores on the bin version but you could go all the way up to 76 GPU cores was absolutely amazing then for RAM something that we saw very similar to the M2 chipset with the MacBook Pro and also the MacBook Air we got a bit more extra RAM and I think the same is going to happen here with the Mac Studio so so this time you'll have a choice between 32 gigabytes of RAM, you'll also be able to pick 64 gigabytes of RAM, you'll also be able to pick 128 gigabytes of RAM, but you'll also be able to slap on an extra 32 gigabytes of RAM on top of that, all the way up to 160 gigabytes of RAM. Just like with the M2 chipset where they offered 8, 16 and 24 gigabytes of RAM. It makes sense for the Mac Studio to do something very similar with that. The aluminium will be a unibody frame body, just like before. Like I said, no big changes there. And the ports on the back will definitely be, again, four times Thunderbolt 4 points, two USB 3.2 ports, a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection, and also at the moment, a HDMI 2.1 port. For the starting price, and this is with an M2 Max with 512 gigabytes of storage and 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I must just say that M2 Max is that binned 32 core GPU core option that will start at 1999 US dollars. So those are the details of the Mac Studio M2 Max and the M2 Ultra. But my wishes for the Mac Studio is very similar to what Apple have done with the MacBook Air M2 and the MacBook Air M1. I really do hope that Apple continue to sell the Mac Studio M1 Max and M1 Ultra after they've released the next generation Mac Studio. But I do hope the price is reduced a little bit on both of the chipset options of the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra. Because we've got to remember that the M1 Max and the M1 M1 Ultra have very powerful chipsets and they will be for many years to come and I think Apple will be missing a trick here if they stop selling the Mac Studio with these chipsets inside. But those are my opinions, what are yours on that? I would also love to know in the comments below on that note so do let me know. And it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like this video and at the same time as well if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon.